Beijing, U. S. Skier Nina O'Brien has a compound fracture of her left tibia and fibula and will be taken back to the United States for further treatment. O'Brien had initial surgery at a hospital in Yuancheng, China, near the Alpine ski venue, after a gruesome crash Monday afternoon in the second run of the giant slalom. I had surgery last night to stabilize my tibia, which unfortunately was an open fracture through my leg, O'Brien said in an instag. I'll get the rest fixed at home, but for now I'm in great hands. I want to say thank you to everyone who's taken care of me, especially those who rushed to me in the finish and my doctors and nurses in Yongqing. A post shared by Nina O'Brien, at Nina underscore O'Brien O'Brien crashed just short of the finish line. Skiing at top speed, she lost her balance at the second to last gate. Her legs flew wide and she tumbled past the last gate and into the finish line. Well, I gave everything I had, and maybe too much, O'Brien said in her Instagram post. I keep replaying it in my head, wishing I'd skied those last few gates differently. But here we are. The seriousness of the injury was immediately apparent as O'Brien clutched her leg and other skiers, including her U teammates, reacted in horror. In the finish area, Lara Gutberami covered her mouth while Norway's Ronhild Moinkel bowed her head. This sport this sport is so damn hard. It's brutal, and it hurts, far more often than it ever feels good, U teammate Michaela Schifrin said later in a post on Instagram. Paul Moltzon, kept saying in the finish, it's not fair. That can't have just happened. It's not fair. And she's right. It's just so not even close to fair. O'Brien had been the top U woman in the giant slalom after Schifrin skied out, finishing sixth in the first run. She was also supposed to compete in Wednesday's slalom event, and will be replaced by fellow American AJ Hurt.